Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a, look at my thumbnail. <laughs> look at that thumbnail, Tasha. <laughs> solar eclipse. It's a solar eclipse of my heart. All right, ladies and gentlemen, live from the depths of hell. Let's go to your comments already. Oh, Teresa wants sun chips. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we got a light snack. Uh, looks like Tasha and sister are going to be eating some uh, <clears throat> guacamole. And I've got these bad boys. Now, full disclosure, it is 100%. Uh, we're in the path of cloud totality. <clears throat> but, hey, don't let that stop us from making a pretty penny. <clears throat> let's see if I can add a close-up shot. Why not? Let's, let's, add a, let's add a secondary camera. Oh, my gosh, how great is that? Honey, I've got a two-camera setup right here. How nice, nice is that? Let's do a shape. We'll do a circle for this shape. A two-camera setup in case anyone wants a close-up of me. Uh, this is quite the technology we have going on. Brandy said Tasha nailed it. Da Damiana said sharing an event together is pretty special. Um, Cass said, is it sunny where you are? No, the clouds came in. The clouds are in. And to be quite honest, I don't know if the clouds are going to go away. What I will do with you guys is I will find a YouTube. I'm going to find a live stream for us to patch into where it might not be cloudy. Uh, let's call this the Solar Eclipse Live. Let's see if we can find it. Um, looks like Fox News has it. Oh, this Mexico City is experiencing it right now. So I tell you what. Let me do this. Give, give me a little bit of... I'm running off of one monitor, as you guys know. Pray for me in my small monitor. What are you guys watching? The AP News one. Sorry. It's the same one you're watching. Well, give me, why don't you give it to me and I'll play it. They've, they're, they're running a better live stream than I am. If you want to tell me what, what it is, AP News it looks like the same one. live stream. Hold on. Associated Press, are you watching this one? These are leaking through. Like, it just is so, so exciting. And I am living vicariously through them right now as the clouds start to cast a shadow on us instead of the moon. But you know what? There's just so much more excitement to be had because we're gonna head over to Carbondale, Illinois. Again, the weather's been so changeable throughout the path of totality, but sometimes, look, you just, you just never know, right? Total solar eclipses happen every few years or so, especially like where, um, you know, it's usually on somewhere else like the South Pacific. So this is a really special thing that we are hitting so many people um, around this this North America, this continent. Um, so you know what? We're gonna head over to hear more from a citizen scientist setting up their solar eclipse experiments out in Carbondale, Illinois. Let's take a look. initiative and it's a joint venture between NASA and Southern Illinois University here in Carbondale, Illinois. And what is your role in this in the study? What are you doing as a citizen scientist? Well, you said it. I'm a citizen scientist. I was recruited. I'm an alumni here from Southern Illinois University, and they contacted me prior to the annular eclipse, which we had last October, uh, and asked me to record that for my home in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I kept the equipment, and then they asked if I might join them here in Carbondale. So I drove two and a half days from Santa Fe and ended up here with all of this gear that you see in front of me to capture data of the solar... All right, just leave a comment, folks. Can you hear me okay, and can you hear this feed okay? I'm operating on one monitor, so I'm not entirely sure. Eclipse that's happening today. Your background is in the motion picture industry. You do not have a background as a scientist. How did you end up doing this? That's correct. I worked in the motion picture business for about 25 years, and so I know cameras, but I don't know telescopes. So when they 
sent all of this to me, I had never operated a telescope. I had never operated a mount like this. Certainly I've used a computer, but all of the software was new to me as well. So there was a bit of a learning curve. However, I think that my experience, and boy, the crowd is really getting into it right now. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. There's a countdown going on. But uh, all of my experience in the movie business did help, and it prepared me to really figure out how to work this gear and, and get the data that NASA needed. What is it about your experience capturing the annular eclipse in October that caught your imagination and made you want to continue? Well, it really was something else. I didn't know what to expect. I had never been through a total eclipse, totality or annular. Annular, of course, is when the moon only covers a portion of the sun, not quite the entirety of the disk. And it still was a very interesting, some people say it's a magical time. Uh, the sky gets dark, obviously, but there in Santa Fe, a breeze came up. It got remarkably cooler. I had to put on a sweater. It was October anyway, but still, when the sun was covered up, it's amazing how much energy we lose here on the Earth when it's darkened like that. And we saw the effect of that. So I'm really looking forward to experiencing that here when the entire disk is, is obscured by the moon. This should be really cool to see in another half an hour, 45 minutes from now. What exactly are you doing here? You're on the football sidelines. Um, you got a bunch of cameras and telescopes. What exactly are you measuring? Uh, well, NASA's going to have to tell me what they're using my data for. I really don't quite know what they're doing with the uh, special files that I'm capturing using this material here, this small telescope. There's a mono camera here that records in black and white. I do have my other gear here, my DSLR over here. I've got one behind me that's shooting a wide angle. I've got the stadium in the background for that. And I'm capturing different phases of the eclipse as it happens to that camera. So when I get home, I'm going to take my images here and from the other camera, and I'm going to put them through Photoshop. And I'm going to People are wondering if the rapture is happening. And my, I was like, does, this, does the rapture mean I don't have to pay my credit card bill? Okay. Are they going to... What? Which one are you... Oh, you're right there on the same one I'm on? Yeah. I'm make a nice collage of that. You can play your audio. And it's in addition to that, I'm going to download the data for NASA, send it back here to Bob Bear at SIU, who's overseeing the project for the university. And I'm going to have to rely on them to tell me what they find in the data that I collect. I'm not that smart. <laughs> what do you expect to experience during totality? I mean, this is new for all Erections. Of us. Yeah, it really is. A it's total... kind of, I know it's going to get cold. I hope I can see my equipment to be able to operate it because it's going to get very, very dark very quickly. For four minutes, we're going to be, be experiencing that. I hope that we can hear the environment around us. I hope that we can hear the birds come out and start chirping and behaving differently. That happened when I was in Santa Fe with the annular eclipse a little bit. Um, so I'm expecting more of I that. I love the DJ. Only Give it up for the sun. Because of the totality event today. Aplazo, aplazo. Great. Thank you so much, Robert Dennis. And let's enjoy some more pictures from the eclipse. Very good. Thank you. All right. So we're not in the path of totalitar totalitarianism. Uh, we're in the path of authoritarianism. Jeez, these words, these words are too big for me. Um, this is our baby's first eclipse. You want to say? You want to? Um, you want to come say hi? Show off your. <laughs> come here, Tasha. Come here. <laughs> Show off your. Uh, here, we'll put the. Here's Tasha right here. You, there, you can look at that camera. We can move this over here. Uh, boy, no, oh boy, I might fall. You got really great. Uh, oh, the sun's starting to come out. Yeah, every time we put them on and look up, you can't see anything. We, we don't have any. Like, not enough. I think it's right there. 
Hold on, hold on. Here, I want the baby to watch. Put these Hello on the Hello, everyone. Uh, we're excited to be joined by Javen Gonzalez, Mesquite representative, to tell us a bit about thing, how things are feeling here in Texas. Um, Javen, welcome. Israel wants Hi, to know if the eclipse me. will harm yeah, the pregnancy. And, um, tell us a little bit about Mesquite, Texas. Is so there, Mesquite, I don't know. We're known Let me as look the it up. rodeo capital of Texas, uh, so we sit just right outside of Dallas. Um, and how has being on the path of totality affected the community, local businesses? What were you feeling here? So there's a lot of energy here in Mesquite, um, just from like a lot of local businesses, the volunteers downtown, they were really excited. Uh, we started planning for this a year ago. Um, so you know, we felt like the community is really well prepared for what's happening and all the visitors that we have. Uh, and Mesquite and many other communities along the path of totality uh, hosted full weekend long eclipse festivities and you guys were among those. How did you roll out the red carpet for, you know, the local folks and the visitors? Sure. So we actually kicked it off in the, the most Mesquite way we could. So it's the uh, 66th annual Rodeo Parade uh, happened here in Mesquite. So we have it every year, but this year it was solar eclipse themed. So that's kind of what kicked off the festivities. Uh, we met with all of our hotels. We offered them glasses. Uh, we had a lot of international visitors who reached out to us in advance. So we kind of prepared their uh, vacation plans and where to go while they're here. I'm and sorry. Where are some the of Mexican those culture. Oh, we have the Mexican culture is just so much cooler. A positive impact. They got music playing. What do we have? Guacamole. <laughs> they got they got mariachi. We got guacamole. We're really hoping to, to capture those. We've been doing a lot of incentives to follow us on social media and come back. There's Arkansas. And any uh, you see like Russellville? Things That's where that we stayed. Doing with like the schools you see Russellville? Or the students? Arkansas is at about sixty yeah, percent so coverage. With our local school district here uh, since the very beginning. They're one of our big partners on this. That's Russellville, which is. Yeah, Russellville, yeah, I think, is like on the on the today. Nashville border. Uh, they have I think. lesson plans ready for today, and so all the kids are going out and observing. I'm sure they're out right now, <laughs> taking a look. The, were the schools closed today? It's Monday, or were they going on? Schools are in session. Yeah, schools are in session here in Mesquite. Tina um, likes my short any shorts. Any last thoughts? The weather, the keep, it keeps changing. Minute by minute, you're seeing it live there. Clouds are coming in, clouds are parting. We don't know what we're going to expect in 20 minutes. Any any thoughts or any uh, words of encouragement for everybody else who are also on the path of totality, possibly? Shannon says the eclipse Good may thought. give the baby uh, superpowers. Here, off and on, the clouds have thrown away. It gets really sunny and the clouds come back. So we're hoping that here in the next 20 minutes, it's clear. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Javen. And I hope you, you know, things look up. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so we are going to have Gosh, a I'm look at all of the events that are still going on across uh, Mexico, the U.S. and Canada. <laughs> um, so stay tuned. Take a look at our feet. You look like what? A blueberry. Tasha said she looks like a blueberry. Is the baby kicking? Not right now, but he was a little while ago. Let me do a feet. Let me do a wide shot of me. So this is me. I'm right next to top. Well, this is a great. I mean, I'm zoomed in on you. This is really great quality. <laughs> so the baby may have superpowers. Jacqueline says Tasha's little bump is so cute. Little. She's got a four-month-old today. Congrats, Jacqueline. Ashley said they had a adjusted schedule today at school. Kellyanne said Niagara Falls is super cloudy and boring. I hear ya. It's cloudy here. Although, who knows? I don't know if the sun's gonna come out. We'll watch it live. Um, I heard that schools are off because they can't stop kids from looking into the sun. Because kids are morons. Alright, no audio coming out of... Um, no audio quite yet coming out of this. Um, I'm trying to figure out a better way to do this. Let's go to square. And then, I don't know. Junction, Texas. Don said liability issues, no school. <laughs> yeah, too cloudy. I'm not hearing anything from this live stream. Is your live stream off? I can't hear anything. Hey, we got a super chat, $5 from Jenna. Get some solar. 
Jenna sent us guacamole. Five dollars. She right. said, get some snacks. Gosh darn it, look, it's so clear right there. Oh, we got, hold on, there's a, there's a cloud opening up. Little to no sun present. Thank you, Jenna, for the super chat. No need to do that. I actually got a text message from, well, I guess I shouldn't talk about that. Let's keep it eclipse related. This is my first outdoor live stream here with two cameras. Stephanie's husband works for the school district. They said they send out thousands of glasses for every student. He bought home three pairs. No wonder we can't get any. Stephanie's got all of them. <laughs> That's really cool, though. I'm glad that the kids get to watch. Oh, what a missed opportunity. If All right, we have the sun around the corner. So we should be seeing a partial... I tell you what, let's go to Nashville. Let's see what Nashville solar eclipse live. So let's go to videos and see what Nashville... There they are. They're screaming. Where are they? I think the screaming is in Mexico. Folks, uh, we're looking at Eagle Pass, Texas right now, the border. City uh, on the border of Mexico and the U.S. And you know what? It's been cloudy, but people people are experiencing totality, and and they're excited, and they're so they're they're just having such a phenomenal time. You can just hear you can hear the excitement um, in our feed. We're seeing a live view also of uh, the eclipse um, feed from NASA, um, looking at the view from Russellville, Arkansas. Uh, there's just so much excitement and hope. So you know what, even if it's cloudy, you might just get to experience it anyway. The darkness and totality is just absolutely palpable. And even here where we are in Mesquite, Texas, uh, everyone's just waiting. It's waiting, the, the clouds keep popping in and out. So, you know, there's just nothing quite like it. So the eclipse is ongoing, folks. The eclipse is ongoing. And let's see what EarthCam has to share. Great American eclipse. More like Great American boring. Yeah, I'll keep, I'm gonna keep this stream on. There's Tasha. Tasha, wanna give us a pregnancy update? Your path of birthing totality is fast approaching. Yes, it sure is. Ooh, a little bit of sun. Oh, oh here, there it is. Do you see it? I can't see anything through my glasses. Oh, and then I move my glasses and burn my eyes. <laughs> I didn't know the sun was over here. <laughs> but the sun was over there two hours ago. I've got my whole camera set up the wrong way. Oh, this isn't going to work. I need to move my chair. Your chair is okay. All right, like, folks, we got to re-angle. I got to re-angle for the dangle.
so I guess they're just going to be behind me because this is as far as I can go. Oh, did I just lose my phone? My phone's gone. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it is. You see it? No. Uh, I knew it was just there again. I, I, I swear to God. I swear to God. All right, hold on. All right, Tasha's stacked behind me. We've got our little live stream there. I don't need this one anymore. Let's get some, let's get some chairs. Nice. All right. Terry said we don't need to hear the other live stream. Well, considering we're in the clouds, I wanted to show an actual good live stream. There, oh, there it is. Wow. Not on our end, Tasha, on the live stream. Kerrville, Texas is in totality. What, in Kerrville? Idiots. Dang morons. All right. Now we're back into the clouds. Kim said the ABC feed is good. Um, live. What do I call it? Solar. All right, let's go to the ABC feed. Urban Bob, who guess what? Guess how they made their way. All right, is this the one you're talking about or is there a different one? From all the way from California to watch the eclipse. We rode our bikes. <laughs> they rode their bikes. How long wow. did it take you guys? A month. Oh my God. A month. Wow. Yes, totally. Absolutely. Is it your first eclipse? It's my first eclipse. Second. Is it yours? Second. Your second. And this yes. is so much different from Oregon. Yeah. Oh, yeah it's, it's a special one. Yes. All right, yes. I'm going to try to get it on my phone. I don't care. I don't care. We're going for it. Who cares? Let's see if I can get it, guys. Dang it. I got it. You got it? I, all right, all right, sure. All right, really? Am I full of it? I can't see you. <laughs> Am I full of it? Let me see. Oh, I could airdrop it to you, but you don't believe in me, so. Right, my is on. Why don't you, you know what? You can go support my live stream if you want to see it. Because <laughs> your boy just got the photo. Guys, this is our view right here. The internet can see it. That's our view. You see that, honey? I love it. Do you see that view I have? I don't see any. I've got the view. You don't see that right there. It looks like a picture of clouds. Um, okay, I'm air driving it to Tasha. Let's go watch her get proven wrong. <laughs> All right, look at it, honey. Look at my photo. Told you. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> but I can't see it through my glasses. <laughs> oh, now the clouds are too thick. Dang it. Well, you can reference my photo. I thought I saw it, but there was just cheese on my screen. <laughs> All right, let's go back. And uh, they stopped uh, singing. I could see Venus. Uh, there were prominences all around the top half. Uh, you know, bright pink red lights. All Looneycorn said, so much shade from Dave right now, you'd think he was the moon. <laughs> That's funny. All around the top of full and uh, red, just amazing. Obviously, and I'm, I'm excited. That people describe this uh, uh, clearly. Uh, I, we're told that this is like a gateway experience that gets even young people excited about science and, oh, and space and, and nature. What was it that did it for you that you've now gone world around around the world in order to, to track and, and follow these eclipses? <laughs> it really puts you in your place in the universe. You realize how small you are, how incredibly beyond our capabilities to even understand all right uh, shut up janet <laughs> let's look at nbc news family with the custom t-shirts guys the build-up was huge Amazing. we saw it how are we feeling Amazing. 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 what was your favorite part 
Oh, when it just turned black. I got a video. I got a video too. All right, so we have 242 people. That's my photo, and I'm sticking to it. Um, I think I have a video. Not that you guys care to see it, but yeah, it turns out the sun was there the whole time. We were just looking in the wrong direction. Um, I don't know. Someone said the ABC stream is good, but I want like a full. Oh, maybe this is the tomorrow's stream. total solar eclipse. Nope, boring. All right, what's live? Okay, let's go back to um, AP News. Let's go back to AP News. If you go to Fox, they're going to be like, the migrants are coming during the eclipse. That's Fox. Here we go. Wow. It's coming. Oh, it got smaller. Yeah, it's skinnier. Well, I tried to look without my glasses. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why everyone who was making fun of Trump, every person goes, boop. Um, all right. Yeah, what was your favorite part? I don't know, the eclipse part? Getting popcorn? Um, who's got this live shot? All right, there's, someone's got a live shot here of Cur Curville. All right, let's keep it on this guy, Roland Martin. He's got a live shot. I don't know who Roland is, but he's got a big following. Mm -hmm. I tried to take a picture and then the cloud blew. And I was like, Ooh. I did the same thing. I did the same thing. Stephanie said, did she put her glasses above or below her real glasses? I'd say above. Terry said all the animals and birds are quiet. Wow, how interesting. All right, so I got a photo there. Let's see if I have a better photo. Ooh, I got a good photo. I don't think we're, I think we're about 20, I think we're about 25 minutes. We're 25 minutes till it'll happen here and it should get pretty dark regardless of the cloud coverage. Um, it should get pretty dark. How come no one's sharing any guacamole with me? No, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I kid, I kid. Um, but let me try to get my... Um, why is this not going? Oh, I was only kidding, but thank you. We're done with it. You guys are done? Yeah. All right. Let's do some guacamole on my end. All right, there's my photo of the thing. Now, here's... What stream is this? Let's see what stream this is. It's so hard to cover all of this. Maybe I'll just go, go, oop, no, too far. Well, that's kind of nice. I'll just do this. That's Dallas, Texas. Maybe we can, mm, sorry guys, this would work so much better if I had another monitor. What was I thinking, only doing one monitor? Um, sunny, clear sky in Illinois. Um, Um, do do do. Let's do this. Let's change this. Can you your no, I'm looking underneath. Oh, I was like, hey. Shape. Let's go to wide. Let's go back to wide. Make this smaller and try to get a full shot. Um, I don't know if I can get a full shot though. Again, we're just waiting. Not much going on yet here. Classic. That's what I want. Let's do a classic shot. And let's go to a different, let's go back to AP. They've got a fun. I like there, are, there is still a bit of cloud cover here. <laughs> and it just so happens this one cloud is just choosing to, to obscure a little bit of the sun, but it keeps speaking through, which adds to so much excitement on the ground. I gotta say, <laughs> I, you know, this is, Kind of reminding me of the 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 final moments of the Super Bowl here. It just the tension is palpable. People people are just waiting on edge to see an experience totality if it can happen. But the fact that through the clouds and despite the weather forecasts, we are experiencing this, it is something else, you guys.
Um, someone asked where my show is tonight. I just posted on my Instagram story. It's called Smokes and Jokes. Um, smokes and Jokes at Liquid Smoke. I guess I, I guess it's at a weed place. There you go. My career is flourishing. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, I'm I'm the I gotta go last tonight. Oh, that kind of sucks. For I'm on the, I'm last on the show tonight. 8:30 show. I guess I don't have to get there early. If you have any overdose jokes, don't do them. Yikes. Are we back? Oh, here? Gosh, could, could somebody send us some uh, pizza? No, I'm kidding. Chris said they're not letting the kids outside because they don't have glasses. Well, that's sad they don't have glasses, but I get it. These idiots can't stop looking at the sun. Lala said, does it get darker? Yeah, it's going to get darker. That's what happens. Um, but I think... Terry said go to AZ Central Live. All right, let's try it. We are moments away from totality here in Mesquite, Texas. Everyone is just looking straight up. Um, if you happen to be looking uh, on the screen at everybody else who's wearing reds, blues, greens, and colorful clothes, now is the time to notice the Perkinji effect <laughs> when colors are just changing. The temperature here on the ground is much cooler. All of a sudden we are seeing the tiniest sliver of the sun peeking behind the moon. I am actually getting emotional, you guys. This is incredible. She's crying. This lady's losing her shit. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. <gasps> the reporter's crying. It is totality here. Everybody just counted down together. Cameras are up. Everybody's looking up, just experiencing this together. There are children, there are grandparents here all together. I am emotional. I can see a planet on the sky. This is, I am crying and I can't help it, you guys. This is phenomenal. Um, crying, I wish guys. Laura, our VJ behind us, could actually take a look because this is, you gotta come out from behind the camera, Laura, please. <laughs> But we can see a planet just to the what? side, and even though it's peeking straight behind uh, the clouds, we are seeing it so clearly. We are lucky phone? that we had high clouds here today, just as this moment. All right, the cops are going um, to bust uh, people. Ever, if, uh, it's absolutely darkness out here. It is, it is incredible. It um, you know, there are folks taking photos with their cameras. They're not really going to get the ideal thing, but like now during totality, I mean, we're going to get four whole minutes of this, four minutes and eight seconds. People can take selfies safely um, just at this moment of totality. And it is incredible. Look, the solar the solar activity right now is near its Wait, peak. Wait, were we not allowed to take selfies? And selfie? just from the ground, we are seeing how how powerful the corona is peeking through from behind the the moon um, it is just something else you guys and i gotta say for all of the drama of the weather forecast today the clouds have made it absolutely spectacular it's just something else i hope you all get a chance to experience it at home um, in the future if you're lucky enough uh to afford it for it to, to come to you directly uh but it is just Nothing I've ever experienced before. Um, yeah, let me grab somebody. Hold on. We're, we're going to try and get an interview with people out here. Um, there it is. Because this is something else. I'm yeah. sorry. I looked with my bare eyes. I don't care. 
so we're just waiting to see if we can chat with somebody briefly. Um, right now, I'm, I'm looking it. around in this it. darkness. It is so cool. The, the temperature has definitely dropped. Um, we're not hearing much when it comes to crickets or anything. There weren't a lot of bugs near us, probably because it's so busy. Uh, but, oh my gosh. Um, and we have someone here joining us who is part of Totelli and um, smartly enough, wore green against my red. So you can see and test out the Perkinji effect for yourself. Uh, please tell me your name. Melody. Melody, and where were you coming from? Are you a local? Honey, thank you for giving me the crumbs. It makes it so much better to scoop guacamole because now I get to use my knuckles to lick the guacamole. Would you like um, a spoon? I have no, 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 no. It would have been, I know you're worried about me overeating. <laughs> and I would have ate way too, there's guacamole on my wedding ring. I'd like a nice gold guac lick. <laughs> it would have, the best part, you can just dump them in the guacamole and eat it like Yeah, with that spoon I was provided. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't worry about it. They're just like Hawaiian barbecue flavor. All right, we have a sister-in-law doing the Lord's work. They're on the top shelf. Jen said we're going to need to start a fund for Dave's eyes. Sarah said Dave chowing down is making my day. Yeah, it's very dark. Cool. All right, thank you. Oh, look at this. We're getting guac and cereal. I've been providing this, cereal. so I can just go right into this. And then you can eat it with a spoon. I've, I've all the salt. No, there's more chips, babe. Well, I already poured the. I have a cereal bowl of chips and guac. Looks like Russellville stopped to be. I think Russellville was in the path of totality. Hey, Sarah, how are you? So, I wish there was a better way to do this. I don't think I have a custom system audio capture, green screen key. Oh, I can use the green screen option. I can use the green screen option with the grass. So what would happen if I used the green screen option on me? Does anyone care? Sis said it was far more amazing than she thought. Oh, there's a bug on me! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> One of those mosquito killers. Ugly ass things. Look at Russellville. It's just a sliver. You know what that reminds me of? There's one of the films. You know at the beginning of a movie, the Russellville is about to be totality. One minute, 20 seconds. Mm. Wow, it was very dark all of a sudden. I mean, we're getting close. One, two, three. What do we do? 2.05 or something here? Oh, yeah? I think it was 203. Doesn't it feel darker all of a sudden? It's getting dark! Ah! I can hear the neighbor's kids screaming. No, it's okay. Do your thing. What stream are you on? Uh, CNN. Okay, the movie that I was talking about. I, you were they, you there last night, Dave? When I was talking about the '90s movie. I don't know. A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's court. This. Oh, look at how dark it is. There's so many bootleg CNN channels. 
I'm trying to find CNN live. CNN's not live right now. Is it just CNN or is it like some quack ass? It doesn't say like CNN 18. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fun. It's the end of the world as we know it. I'm not paying my car note. Take that, Chase Bank. All right, Tasha's been known to crack open the Hawaiian habanero tortilla chips. I'm kind of annoyed I have a, such a late show tonight. But you never want to go up last on a weed show. Someone asked if my internet's moving slow today. No, it's blazing fast. Tasha, do you want these? They're delicious. There it is! People are cheering next door. Should we cheer? Woo! No, everyone's cheering. <laughs> There's nothing funnier than watching somebody try to see it. We all look so dumb and useless. How can you have an ego when we're this stupid? Nothing matters in life. Whatever stresses you have, just stare into the sun. I'm covered in crumbs, guys. Sarah with a $2 super chat. Bachelor guac hour. Thank you. Woo! I'm There's a young kids cheering next door. All right, next time we see the sun, we have to cheer. Next time the sun comes out, we cheer. Yeah. Not a bad Monday, right folks? Let's do a speed test. Speed test. Someone said, someone, someone accused my internet of running slow. <laughs> folks, that's called blazing fast. Actually, that's not that fast. Oh no, there it goes. My internet speed is uh, almost 200 megabytes per second upload. I'm in the backyard, so I'm kind of far from the Wi-Fi in 120 megabytes per second upload. Lala said, leave it to Dave to make fun of the eclipse. Well, I'm making fun of people, how dumb people look. But we're one of them. Mindy said it got like dusk where she is. Yeah, I think that's all we're going to get is dusk. It's gonna feel like dusk here. We're eight minutes away. Sarah said, "Dave, Tasha, Sarah said Dave is gonna roast the eclipse." They're not listening to me. I'm getting a cease and desist from God. Tasha, you're still trying to sell this movie. It was probably a dream you had. <laughs> oh, I you. I just Googled it, but I haven't figured it out yet. What did you say? Kidding King Arthur's Court? Yeah. I remember that movie, but I don't remember Maybe it was um, A Knight's Tale. Also a great movie. <laughs> we should be having a fire going. No, it's cold. Why don't we have the fire going? Luis said, uh, this is the energy needed on a Monday. 
Bruce said best eclipse all week. Coming out right now, every now and then I come apart. I fucking need you now tonight. All right, we are in real bad, bad view here. Hold on, I gotta let the air out. So. Gosh, how do you do your taxes after an eclipse? Can we write off an eclipse? Hey, there it is. Oh! Hey! Wow! Oh, I need my glasses. <laughs> you don't need your glasses. You don't need your glasses. Wow. That was the biggest one we saw. You can still barely see it. It's so yeah. tiny. What do you think? <laughs> should I put my camera up to it? Should I? Should, should, oh, there it is! Wow. Woo! We saw it. Still there. Oh, <laughs> Is that the eclipse light? Clear these clouds out of the way. Yeah, maybe if I got my drone out, we'd be able to. Well, we're not going to get totality, but. People are asking what I'm seeing. I guess I'll take another photo. I can send you one that I just took. Yes, yeah, airdrop it to me. To the computer. Tasha's gonna airdrop us an updated photo. Is it coming? Yeah. I think so. Oh, here's Tasha's photo. Here's Tasha's photo. Wait, where did the audio go? That's the stream now, man. Someone said the moon is a rhombus. Chill out. There it is! Right through the sun. There it is. Gosh, it's a sliver. It's a it's a sliver. God bless America. I got a super up close one. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Tasha, did you see what I got? Put your airdrop on. <laughs> That's what I got. Pretty good, right? Sure. That's like 15 digital zooms, but... Oh, it'd be 
be social media is going to be insufferable with all everyone's stupid photos. Someone just sent me an app to uh, the um, ADR feature on your phone. Oh my gosh. Look at the ADR feature on your phone. Look, look what I just got. Chelsea, look what I just got. I just used a new feature on my phone. It's getting dark, folks. All right, they didn't believe me. All right, say your blessings. Whoops, that's not the, hold on, I got the wrong screen up. Where the heck's the solar eclipse? I'm gonna get the wrong screen up. What did they say, five seconds? They want to know if... They want to know if you guys are twins. I, I don't believe they're twins. I think Taj is two years older. Almost three. Two and a half? Wow. Tasha's always told me she was only one year older. No, Chris, I was lying. That wasn't a real photo. But this one is on my screen. This is a real photo. Jen said, who's booing the sun? Yeah, they just want to boo the sun. Boo! Giver of life. <laughs> I think the sun's even though it's even though there's a lot of clouds, I think the sun's looking very radiant today. My video was blocked. Hold on, folks. I'm going to go to this. I guess you... I'll do it after. Megan Fox is in the chat. Hey, Megan, how are you? I'll text you in a bit. My lawyer um, is... Well... Is it time? It's over? Yeah, but it's still, it still should be dark, right? I just want to see. Hi, 
joining me now to talk about some eclipses and exoplanets and the universe is NASA JPL ambassador and exoplanet researcher, Dr. Anjali Tripathi. Welcome. Thank you so much, Kyle. So it? excited to be here with you and see Still totality together. Uh, we just experienced totality together and you were here with your parents. Um, tell us how did that feel? It's amazing to get to see the whole world change and to get to see the corona, which you never get to do otherwise. Yeah, it was really strong today. And we even got to see a few planets nearby. You could see Venus bright and clear. Amazing. Um, Everyone so saw Venus? How your research has to do we with exoplanets. How does tonight, today's phenomena uh, have anything to do with that? I mean, in the same way that you can watch the sun get dark. Can you imagine having to work right now? It turns out when planets like Mercury or Venus make the sun a little dimmer, we can see this for distant stars and use it to find the planets that are around them. And so All right, so during the, during the eclipse, planets outside the solar system it's easier to see the planets planet. because the sun's no, so not actually, there? So actually, you bring up a really good point that. in that total solar eclipses present an incredible moment for science experiments. Anyone li is anyone live with the... Um, My uh, street, wait, something, my, um, all right, guys, I have to, I'm going to remove this while I work on something. My, my Patreon episode was blocked, but I'll, I'll get it back up in a second or probably take an hour to be honest, but give me a second guys. If anyone was watching today's Patreon late, it is blocked because I shared Jelly Roll's speech and they didn't like that. So let's hit a few buttons here we'll get that unblocked can't show jelly roll speech let's see blocked no one can view this yeah i can't believe the cmt awards chill out trim out segment continue Rogue Mama said, thankfully there's no perineum sunning. Yeah, we don't need any perineums getting sun. It is a sunless body part. I feel like it was like 30 something years. Wow, really? Yeah. But maybe there's more, just not that we can see them. Not right, here. All right, so the video is processing. My live stream is processing for those wondering. I'm going to respond to some people. Um, it'll be back up. So if you want, if you're trying to check the Patreon, it will be back up. So how old was I being? 2044. 30? No. 54. When's the next one? 2044, but it's only in Montana, North and South Dakota. Well, we might be living in Montana by then. Someone said the NASA YouTube. All right, let's try NASA. NASA YouTube. Let's see what NASA looks like. Here's NASA. NASA looking at the sun. No eclipse flash All right, required. I'm going to be bringing this. Director of Flight Programs, tell me, what can we expect NASA yeah. to be sending to the sun in the, few, in the next few years? We are so lucky. In the midst of this incredible time of solar max, we're getting ready to... Oh, the oh, diamond, I'm saying a diamond ring, ring right now. The diamond ring. ring. Take a look. Take a look. A diamond ring. Put your glasses back on. Be safe. That is the diamond ring, folks. Wow, spectacular. Oh my gosh. You can even hear fireworks in, in Indiana. The yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And the light is already starting oh, wow. to change. It really is. You can <laughs> It's when the it's when the um the solar flare comes out one end. is really pulling out all of the stops and we love them for it. I also want to take a moment here to thank our two telescope operators, John and Dana, who have been providing these telescope views wow. for us there from Ball State the University. Yard, folks. Thank you very much to John and Dana. There it is. All right. It's like somebody flipped the lights back on. I it's so like a sudden switch flip. This is so crazy. And I can feel it warming up already. Yes. Wow, this is so is incredible. Yeah, well, this is an incredible, incredible moment and an incredible, incredible moment for the Helio Big Year. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. This has been fantastic. Oh, thank, thank you, you for, for having me and sharing this. I'm so excited yes. to be here and to see this incredible sight. Absolutely. Megan and Sarah, back to you.
Oh, that was so fun to experience, and I can't wait for us to do it now. Take a look at this drone shot where you can see it definitely got noticeably darker. We feel it here. It's colder. The crowd is cheering now. They're ready for totality here in Cleveland, Ohio. We are about three. We are less than three minutes away. Two minutes and 18 seconds away from totality here. In oh, Cleveland, NASA's Ohio. got the this. NASA's here. got it. They've got like sports casting. I'm ready for this. How are you? Yeah, this is way cool. better than that chick really who was crying. Now it's like night. This happened within the last like couple of seconds. But let's take a look around because obviously we're not the only ones enjoying uh, the total solar eclipse today. We have some watch. Uh, uh, we have some eclipse viewing events that we've seen around the country. So why don't we take a look at some of those? Megan, I'm texting you. Wow. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so this so is cool. Times Square. That's the NASDAQ tower, and they are taking our feed live right now, and we're seeing awesome. Cleveland, Ohio sun. They're only going to get a partial eclipse today, but they get to watch our eclipse with us. So. Yeah, I'm really glad that they can do that. Wow, look, that sliver of a crescent just left. It's actually perfect on that building, the, sh the shape of that building, right? <laughs> and we can see some people in the foreground taking a look, stopping to watch. It's hard to stop in Times Square, right? But they're <laughs> stopping to take a look at this with us. Beautiful. No, yeah, of course, the lady crying oh, awesome. is fine, sure. So this is just next to us. Progressive, this is progressive field. field here in Cleveland, Ohio. So they, the Guardians have their opening day today, and the first pitch is like five after 5 o'clock. But as you can see, they've opened up the stadium. That's cool. And people are in there to yeah, enjoy it. Are you guys watching NASA? Watch that. That's great. Yeah. Uh, you can, oh, my gosh, oh gosh. it just got NASA's started NASA's got a good here. one. Oh, my <laughs> gosh, that's so interesting. And then Mentor Civic Amphitheater again, the, the, the field starting to fill. Joanna, the live stream will be back. up at the sky for their opportunity to see today's solar eclipse. It got removed by YouTube, it'll be back. I had to clip out this a Joe This is us back speech. here in Cleveland. Everybody looking up at the sky. We have Background. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. These chairs are great for this. Here in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh my God, I have goosebumps everywhere. Everybody's starting oh to cheer. I might oh. cry, I kind of feel like crying. <laughs> She's gonna cry <laughs> too. It's so cool to see, it's getting so dark. Get therapy. Wow like night just descended on us. <laughs> and look at the crescent slowly disappearing. Crowds cheering here. Cell phones up, cameras up. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Woo! Totality, everyone. Wow, NASA's got the best camera. Look at this. Are you guys watching this? Go to NASA YouTube. This is from like the NASA Center. So they probably have like oh, a legit wow. telescope. Oh my god. I was so nervous. Another in Cleveland, I, know, I, I wasn't think. sure because we had some high clouds, but oh my goodness, you can totally you can see the that corona extending wow. out. Oh wow. Yeah, the Look clouds at, were really bothering me. Look at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very cloudy <laughs> here in the last hour and a half, but we have a great view oh, here beautiful. in Cleveland, this Ohio. This is the NASA yes. channel. Wow, wow look, look at the, at the corona. You can hear the crowd. Wow, everybody's got their phones out. Look for the oh aliens. Oh my gosh. Wow. You know, I saw pictures of what the shape Little of the Pills in Australia and said, you guys do uh, eclipses big over there. Yeah, exactly we're, like we're kind of boring. Oh my gosh. Oh, and you can see Jupiter oh, and Venus. Oh, you look at that. So Jupiter's to the upper left of, yeah. of yeah. the eclipse that we're When's the next Australian eclipse? To the right of it is Venus. Venus. Yes. Oh, and I see some uh, Tasha's doing three weeks. We've been talking about all day. Tasha, show us your corona. And again, all around us, you see light, but just at yeah, the top like a, where we like are. Looney Corn said, stop sunset. saying Corona. Exactly, I'm having exactly. a trauma yes, response from the pandemic. Yes, Indianapolis had described that as well. <laughs> Tasha, show us. Wow. Open this shirt. We have totality here. Pull it up. For three Pull the minutes shirt up. and 50 seconds. That is such a luxurious amount of time. I saw the 2017, I think we only had about two minutes. So. And why is that? Why Why does the length of totality differ? Oh, yeah, well, because sometimes the moon is a little closer, a little further away. Its orbit's elliptical. And so when it's further away, it looks smaller in the sky. But when it's closer, it looks bigger. And so we get a little bit more extra time. Look at the prominence. You can see it on the bottom. On oh, the bottom there. So wow. It's like bright pink. That is insane that you can see it from there, from here. Yes. Just like the power of our sun. I'm truly in awe right now. <laughs> and cold. I'm in <laughs> awe and cold. <laughs> it did drop. It's it dropped is noticeably like 10 colder. Degrees. It's like, yes. Yes. So then now we're waiting Looking for Cleveland to, to have that um, diamond thing. A lot of people thing. videotaping it, trying to take photos. 
the lovely backdrop of the Cleveland skyline. Yeah, that's beautiful. We have the stadium right next to us. The, the oh my gosh. And again, thanking the Great Lakes Science Center and NASA. Becca for wants to know if you're starting to drop in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. She doesn't think it's so. It's great to like sort of join humanity to all come together at once and experience this together with such a great. Thank oh, you, Rebecca. Look at the screen right now. Here's a shot of the skyline. Shannon wow, says pregnancy the sky suits looks you, on Tasha. Fire. Beautiful. A lot of excitement still here in the crowd. Brenda said her daughter was due April 4th and she's still waiting. So you can tell that we have some cloud cover, right? It's kind of hazy here, but still. It is, yeah, some high clouds. I was worried about it, but like we can still really see, have a pretty good view here. Wow. And again, this is so I mean, rare for people here in Cleveland to see a total solar eclipse. The last time was 1806. Yes. The next time, guys, 2444. <laughs> that is incredible. I hope everybody took the time to come outside and witness this today. Oh my gosh. You can still see that prominence. Again, talk to us yeah, about what a prominence so is. Yeah, so that, that pink color comes from the helium uh, in, in the sort of outer atmosphere of the, of the sun there. Oh, it's beautiful. And it gives off that pink glow. Yeah. Wow. Totality oh, here ending here. Oh, there's the here it is. Oh. Yeah. Time to there it is. Oh, time to put your glasses back on, everyone. That's your cue. Glasses back on. Oh, here it comes. What an amazing experience, my first total solar eclipse. Yes. Let's see what they think about this in Niagara with Daryl Nail. All right, no audio coming. Over the entire area, you can hear the crowd erupting at various moments when the eclipse it has been seen, but we are under pretty cloudy conditions, and David Sheeney is with us. He's a program executive with the Heliophysics Division. Uh, David, uh, this is a challenging situation to be in in order to try to see this eclipse. We've seen glimpses. We have seen glimpses. So we're basically spending our time staring at the sky, hoping for a little bit of a glimpse of what uh, would be a totality. So right now, you, the, the sky has just completely gone dark. Um, you can see all the lights, basically. Everybody's cameras and everything else are all making it lighter um so and it's gotten significantly colder as well just over the last uh several minutes um, and uh it's like it, it's fascinating to see it go night like this we've been listening to everybody across the country enjoying totality and seeing it clear that's not the experience we're having here in fact it's so cloudy that our telescope operator jessica Bellina, who's working very hard to try to get a lock on it has not been able to get that telescope feed dialed in because she has to have a view of the sun in order to see it. So we don't have a feed for you from Niagara. What we have is just every once in a while, you'll hear part of the crowd, only part of the crowd will cheer because I guess they kind of have an angle through the clouds to see just a little bit. Right, are we bit. done? Yeah, <laughs> only cleared out we done here? Occasionally to even need eclipse glasses. What so time do you have to leave? You have a, a thick enough layer of clouds that you can see the eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? So, like a, a lot of us have been able to just take regular pictures with our cameras. I'll bring them up here. Let's, let's see. Look and just kind of All right, let's do it. Enjoy the moment come, uh, of come right. darkness that we're in now. People have come from all over the world oh, to be yeah, you can see People want us to name the baby Bruce. It start, looks like it's uh, a little bit lighter up there. Our spotlights are lighting this guy. Can you turn the spotlights down? Yeah, but it's not. It's about the. I want to see if the camera can oh, see it. Look, you got, you got a little bit of Camera's right there. Right there. Not here. Uh, there. With the with people there. watching. There's the camera. So we're just, no, we're just catching black. little That's glimpses. Go, go walk up to the camera. As we, see, as we look up into the sky. So this might not be as exciting as some, but this is this is what we get. We're we're just hoping to have a little bit of a glimpse. Um, well, we've got three minutes and twenty nine seconds for it to happen. We're all we're already a, a minute or so in. Right. We heard there's going to be skydivers that are going to. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the kid kicked. Yeah, I don't know that we'll ever get, get um, to see the skydivers. Megan said her chickens you know, put themselves to bed. The, <laughs> Idiots. Really. It's dumb, all, dumb chickens. Like, as, if, as if it was night for us here. 
you can start to see some of the light come in from the other side. So we're taking now a view of Tupper Lake, New York. That's a... Uh, Oh, look, there you go. Right. Right. Got got totality shot. right there. We're so getting dog. totality right now. Oh, that we could dog dog <laughs> Was that a dog here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right there. So, wow. We thought we saw an eclipse. There's a dog here. A little bit of through the cloud so everybody could see. Our dog here is so the same size as eclipses. Bruce says hi. That was the roar from the crowd that you just heard. And just as soon as it showed. Iris said, can we see what is live, please? Yeah, go to NASA's YouTube channel. A bit You're watching me watch it. <laughs> as, it's cool, as it's shining through. Down there, I ducked down. Yep. You want to see what's live? Look out your window. Jessica, so here we go. We have another view a little bit. Another, another little view right here. As it's pictures. starting to peek out around. Oh, there it is. Wow. So it's starting to peek out just around right there. Yeah, just a slight yep. retinal burn. Slight. What are we supposed to do now? Is it over? The totality yeah, is over. complete. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that was a fun experience to watch and hope for, like, just everybody else around here hoping for a view. That was, it. that was a unique experience. Um, I know. I mean, it was basically. And suddenly. All right, folks. Thank you, Jim. Looney Coin said, I subscribe for the long leg stream. Well, it's just me out here by myself now. I should do this more often. It's nice. I'm just, it's kind of cold. Um, there'll be more on the Patreon tomorrow. Um, I have a hell of a lot of other stuff to do as far as, you know, um, you know, taxes and stuff like that. So, but I do like bringing the camera out here. It just, here's my setup. You guys want to see my setup? I guess, how do I show you my setup? Let me see if I can add, I'll, sh I'll, I'll add a camera just to show you. I think this camera. All right, so here's my camera. Okay, ready? So you can see my setup if you look at this. See that? That's my setup. So anyhow, that's where I am. Um, relatively busy day today. I think I'm going to go chill out. Thanks everyone for joining me. Thanks for the super chats. You know, it was fun. It was unique. Um, my Patreon video was blocked. It will be back. Just give it a little time. I, uh, I had to remove some content that got blocked. Nothing like serious. It was just, that's what happens. That's what happens. So, um, yeah, you guys know I'm not good at brief goodbyes, but I'll just, uh, let me see if there's any other comments. Shannon likes the backyard stream. More summer live streams? Sure. I'll come out here more often. I mean, now that, you know, when I lived in Los Angeles, it was too loud in the backyard. But now that this is pretty, pretty quiet, I can come out here. See, obviously, this is a better setup than if you say just saw, like, if you just saw this setup, that wouldn't look that good. This just wouldn't look that good. But... The fact that you get to see the farther camera looking at me. Don't go crying like that lady. It's a corona. <laughs> um, I don't know where these chairs came from. Those chairs? I don't know. No idea. All right. Well, oh, now the sun's, oh, now the sun's really coming out. Let me see if I can, hold on. Is it completely done? can't see it. I think it's over. Birds chirping and shit. Chris said, will you and Tasha have a second baby after baby Bjorn? Uh, maybe. We'll have to see if we like this baby thing. All right, guys. Y'all were great. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You've helped me calm my nerves down. Um, I've got my lawyer talking to Jane Doe's lawyer now. Uh, thanks to all of you guys that have helped raise funds for my legal defense i can continue to let my lawyer do the legal things with jane doe's lawyer so i don't have to worry about you know saying the wrong thing so that's how, that's today that's information i'm telling you guys right now is that i sent over to my lawyer um
Oh, I'm getting some new information, but nothing important. Stuff I'll just share with you guys later. All right, I'll talk to you guys all later. Have a good one. Bye, everyone.